In Pakistan's border tribal areas, the government continues a crackdown on Al-Qaeda and Taliban militants that began in August. With a small U.S. Special Forces unit providing training in the area, defense officials from both countries say any counterinsurgency operations must have a Pakistani face. Assistant Secretary of State Richard Boucher visited the tribal areas this week and praised what he called Pakistan's determination and willingness to carry the struggle against the militants to the end. Former U.S. Ambassador to Islamabad, Wendy Chamberlain says the real challenge is to make Pakistani people realize that they are fighting a common enemy. Many of the Pakistani people see, uh, regrettably, unfortunately, and wrongly, the United States' violation of sovereignty uh, as uh, more of a threat than the extremism that is actually bombing their hotels, killing their potential leaders, killing their police, killing their military, killing civilians inside Pakistan. The main reason for this is a feeling of victimization among the poor in Pakistan, says Pakistan's former interior minister, Aftab Sherpa. Frequent violations of Pakistan borders and missile attacks by American drones is complicating the problem. There's a growing uh, sense of victimization uh, amongst the Muslim because of a strong misperception that war against terrorism is targeted against the Muslims. The new government in Pakistan is trying to persuade the doubters by including all political parties in a closed-door parliamentary briefing, showing lawmakers how foreign militants are operating inside Pakistan. The government has developed what it calls a three D's policy, dialogue, development and deterrence. Heather Malik, a senior fellow at the Joint Special Operations University run by U.S. Defense Department, says the new policy can be very effective. He says the main question on the minds of Pakistanis is whether it is their war or not. And Pakistan has to resolve this permanently by developing a national consensus. And many people who are not on board might come on board by saying, OK, we don't necessarily agree that this is Pakistan's war, but it is our war now. It has been thrust upon us. Whether we like it or not, we have to move forward. Malik says Pakistan will never be able to win the fight against militants unless it can win the sympathy of the local people and turn them against the Al-Qaeda and Taliban militants. Ravi Khanna, VOA News.